I'm a little stressed out. Oh! Why? Did, did you just ask why? I will tell you why right now. I got this shiner right here. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It makes sense in my head, but I can't explain it, man. All right, so basically, there's a hundred levels. And I got the chore to add them into the game. Everything was going all right until I was like, ooh. I thought the background needed to be spiced up a little bit, so I sprinkled some salt on it. So I made the background just a little bit larger than the game screen. So when the user tilts their device, the background's location changes based on the device's accelerometer's X and Y values. Although I may not keep this background, I feel like the effect does add more character to it. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, man? Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong, man! Leave a comment in the comment section below if you think I'm wrong. So anyways, back to my roadblock. After adding in all the levels from the original game, I started giving the hint feature a little more thought. I had an idea of how I could possibly implement the feature, but it would require me to go back and record every step it took to create every grid. I wasn't necessarily against going back and recreating each grid. However, I wanted to make it easier on myself instead of recording each move manually. So I wrote a process that saves the row, column, and color used for each move I perform. It will then store it in JSON format within a text file. Eventually, I will transfer the contents of this file over to another one that I store within my assets. One other thing that I decided to do was create another text file that stores the final design of each grid. This way, it eliminated the need for me to create each grid design within the code like this. My idea for the hint feature isn't going to be quite how I imagined it, but with each move to create a grid documented, I can write another process that uses the recorded moves to walk the user through the level in order to move on to the next. This feature will obviously not be free to use, however I'm unsure about the in-game currency at the moment. So now that I'm able to easily create each level and record the necessary data to implement the end feature, here goes round two. Whack! 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 Kind of a recap of what's currently happening. I'm adding in the level system and doing some work with the help functionality. In order to do that, I went ahead and also created a very basic layout for the free play screen. That way I can have a free grid to create the levels on. Hello? That was your mom. <laughs> oh! She said you were subscribed. <laughs> you should probably subscribe though. It would make me feel better. <laughs> See you guys next time. No, for real. See you guys next time.